Hello, today we're going to talk about healthy, helpful, and hard work, healthy food from our book Lift Off. We are going to start with the reading, then answering some questions about the reading. Healthy Eating by Rasha Abdullah. Neither children or young people eat enough food and vegetables. Both age groups often eat too much junk food. Junk food like sweets, chips, and burgers is food with too much fat, sugar, and salt, and food which has too many calories in it. None of these things is healthy in large quantities. Too much fat, sugar, and salt, and too many calories can use can cause problems, for example, heart diseases and diabetes. These illnesses start early in life and can become very serious. There is no better way to be healthy in later life than to have a healthy diet and regular physical activity. In a healthy diet, we find protein, vegetables, healthy fat, fruit, and whole greens. Here is a healthy eating plate. So we are going to find the following in the text. So it's generally talking about healthy and unhealthy food. Okay, so we are going to start with number one, the meaning of junk food, food with too much fat, sugar, and salt. Two, the meaning of a healthy diet, a diet with protein, whole greens, fruit, and vegetables. Three, two illnesses, diabetes, and heart disease. Four, two whole green foods, brown rice, whole green, and bread. Five, two healthy proteins, nuts, beans, fish, chicken, all of them are for proteins. Six, two junk foods, sweets, burgers, cake. Now I wanted to correct these sentences. Number two, children eat too much fruit. No, they do not. Children do not eat enough fruit and vegetables. Three, young people eat too little junk food. No, they do not. Young people eat too much junk food. Four, junk food has too few calories. No, it doesn't. Junk food has too many calories. Five, unhealthy food is good for your health. No, it's not. Unhealthy food is bad for your health. Number six, beans and nuts are examples of whole greens. No, they are not. Beans and nuts are examples of healthy protein. So the new vocabulary we have complicated, consisting of many elements. Diabetes, it's a disease in which the body's ability to produce the hormone insulin. Disease, it's a disorder of structure in human. Like for example, um, if you have a flu, this is kind of diseases. Fat, it's a natural oily occurring in animal bodies. Nuts, it's food. Do you see it? This is like nuts. Simple, easily understood or done. So the new vocabulary, we, I want you to spell it correctly. We have the first one complicated, perfect. Diabetes, excellent. Disease, great. Nuts and uh, simple, perfect. Now I want you to underline the correct word in practice. For example, number two, Sammy drank a lot of water, but Yazid had neither or none. It's none, because Sammy is drinking a lot. Three, Lena, do you want any or no tea? Any tea, not no. Okay, in a question, we use any. Four, Julia doesn't like apples. Neither or nowhere does Lena. Neither does Lena, because it's negative, so we use in the second one negative to neither. Five, all or both kinds of junk foods, such as burgers, can be unhealthy. It's all, because we are talking generally about junk food. Six, we have either or none tea or juice. Which do you want, Adil? Either. Seven, there is anywhere or nowhere to park near the market. We are, so we are talking about place. We are using nowhere, because there is no place. Eight, Dalal could see healthy food everywhere or somewhere she looked. Everywhere. Okay. Now I want you to say sentences using so or neither. If they are the same, you can say use so. If they are negative, you can use neither. For example, Lena ate burgers last night. 
So did Julia. Adil doesn't like fish. Neither does Sammy. For Yazid has got a mobile phone. So has Adil. Five chips do not have protein in them. Neither do sweets. Okay, so because it's a negative sentence, we use neither. If it is a positive, we use so. Six, Dalal is not very hungry. So here it's a negative. Neither am I. Number seven, too much fat is not healthy. It's negative. Neither is sugar. Eight, a healthy diet is important. So here it's a positive. There is no not. So we are going to say so is regular exercise. So if you have the sentence here negative, so you are using neither. If it is positive, then you are using so. So let's read and remember countable nouns in different. We can say use a and an with the singular. Use no, any, some, or nothing with the plural. Okay? Uncountable nouns use any, some, or th nothing. If we are going to say countable nouns, the nouns that we can count. For example, one apple, two apples, three apples. Okay? Uncountable nouns, we are going to say, for example, the rice, the money, water. You cannot count it, so we can use any, some, or nothing. Countable nouns different. Use the in singular or plural when there is only one of these things. For example, the sun. We have only one sun in the whole world. So we are using that. Or we have talked about the nouns before. For example, if I'm so saying apple is good for you. The apple is healthy. See? So first I didn't say the apple. No. I said apple is good for you. The apple is healthy. So if you say it for the second time, you can use that. Or if it is only one like the sun, the moon, the earth. So we know that there is only one earth, one sun, and one moon. Uncountable nouns. Use that with uncountable nouns when we have talked about the noun before. For example, apples are good for you. The apples are healthy. Okay, so either singular or plural, we can use both of them. Copy the text in your notebook and complete it with a, an, or the nothing. If it is nothing, just put cross. If we want children and young people to have a healthy life, okay, they need to be physically active. If they are not active, they may get an illness. So because we start with um, I as diabetes when they are older. There are many advantages which come from exercise. The first is better physically, physical health. The second is better results at school. And the third is good mental health. And remember, exercise doesn't need to be complicated or difficult. Walking is a healthy and simple kind of exercise. Okay? So for today, we learned about reading all and both, neither and either, so and neither, definite and indefinite, and new vocabulary. Thank you for listening.